Well, hello. Welcome back to the Red, White, and Blue Wood Shop. We're going to make a shop project today for our next project. It's going to be a jig for the table saw so we could square up wood. If you get a warped piece of wood that you think's no good, this jig will fix it for you so you can get a nice street, a straight edge, straight edge, straight edge. And that's what you need to run up against a table saw to square up a piece of wood. Warped piece of wood. So that's what we're going to make today. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll get started. Okay, what we have here is two pieces of three-quarter inch birch plywood. We're going to make this as a fence, and so our wood will sit up against the fence. What we're going to do is we're going to make it so it's about in the middle. And we'll be able to move this back and forth if we need to for bigger pieces of wood. So right now, what we need to do is measure to see... Measure, I need my pencil, there we go. We want to measure in, well our piece of wood is 10 inches. So we want to measure, I want to put pretty much in the middle, so we're going to measure over 5 inches. Measure over here 5 inches. Measure in the middle 5 inches, because sometimes plywood flexes. Screw our piece of wood right to this. I got to get us a draw. Get it all lined up. straight put one in the middle there we go okay next thing we need to do is we're going to add these toggle clamps right on the edge and what these will do these will clamp down on our wood so we got to screw these in these I bought. They had them at Harbor Freight and I had a really good deal on them. I think I only paid two, two bucks a piece for them. I know you can't see me but sorry I'm opening up another one of these toggle thingies. Been meaning to make one of these for a while since I've been doing a lot of uh, well not a lot but oh wait a minute this is different than the other ones. Oh this is the mini one. Or is it? Oh, it's the same. It's just different. Yeah. We're good. It's the same, but just different. That's about right. So how's everybody out there in YouTube land? Hopefully good. I hope so. Well, we'll get to play with these because I've never, I mean, I've used them before, but not too often. Guess I should have had all this stuff done. <laughs> Apologize, but been working all day and come home and I'm put one right about there. I'm making, I'm making this. Four feet in length, pretty much. Oop, gotta make her straight. So, uh... Everybody liking the projects people are doing? Um, I'll show you what this is for now.
Okay, so you could take a piece of pallet wood that's really warped and you can clamper. Oops, wrong piece. Sorry. Yeah. Pallet wood that you need to cut the edge off. You want to get a nice square cut. See how it's warped like that? Yes. We got a we got a load. Bring these down and uh, I think that's good. Oh, right. no, a little more. Yeah, these are adjustable, which is great. I don't want to go the wrong damn way. <laughs> oh, jeez. to go in this one too. Well now I'll show you what this is good for. Hopefully I don't kill myself. <laughs> Sorry for getting in front of you. What it does is it gives us a nice, uh, nice clean edge here. <coughs> Ow, shit, that's hot. Nice clean edge, so now we can run this up against the table saw and trim up this side if we need to. I'm going to cut that off. Well, that's what this is for, and I'm going to show you again with another piece. So let me get another piece and I'll show you again. Actually, just flip this one over. I'll show you with this one over here. We'll do it again. Duh. I'll just place this bad boy about like that there. Too. For some reason, oh, there we go. That gives us a nice, complete square edge that we can run. We're squaring up this piece of wood so we could use it so it's nice and square and true. That's perfectly smooth. I could glue that up right now. Well, thank you for watching. This is a little jig. I thank you for watching, and uh, you're going to see me use it a lot, and hopefully, you make one of your own. You can get those toggles uh, clamps at Harbor Freight, they're like five bucks each. And you know what? They're great for other things in the shop too. So you can make all sorts of neat jigs with them. I like them. Um, I use them. So hopefully you get some of your own and make this jig for you. Thank you for watching and God bless.